explorers go to a tool store on the border of Spain and Portugal. They both reach for the same item. Hey, I need this for my ship. No, I'm an I, explorer, so move out of the way. No, I need this for my ship. I'm an explorer. I'm a real explorer unlike you, so you move. Wait, so we're both explorers? But who are you? I'm Prince. I'm Francisco Cornado, and you are? Pedro. Pedro Cabral. Um, why don't we work together to find riches? Sure, how about I go that way and what where are you going to go? Okay, I'll go that way to find riches too. Okay, then we'll meet back here to share? Yeah, let's go to the docks to get our boats. Okay. While two of us go to the docks, they're both thinking about which of them land they know. Should I trust this guy? I'm not sure I should trust this guy. After all, I just didn't meet him. They both get their boats and start to sail their ways to find land and riches. Then all of a sudden, a storm hit. The blast of the heavy waves from the storm washed Pedro Cabral down southeast towards, towards, today, towards now-day Brazil. The waves also scattered Francisco to the Mexico. Where am I? How did that storm push us so far apart? Hey, Pedro, you're there. If you can hear me, show a sign to let me know. I'm Pedro Ship. What is that? Is that land? Sir, it's land. We found land. Okay, and set sail for that land. Francisco Ship washed up on Mexico. Am I in the New World? New World? I think this is the New World everybody was talking about back at home. I need to find Francisco. Man, let's start searching for Francisco. They both meet back in spot two years later. My people will be so happy that I made it back from the New World alive. Francisco did not mark any land for Spain, but he did find, he was the first European to see the Grand Canyon and first European to step foot in California. Francisco lost all of his money on his journey. Pedro Cabral did find Brazil, but he did lose a lot of men when the storm hit. They went back home and lived for 15 years. The end.